The new October event for Red Dead Online begins tomorrow, and today on the show we will be talking about the new Red Dead Online event month, and we'll also be discussing what expectations we should have going into October. There are of course our entire wish list of things that we want to see in this game, but realistically speaking in regards to this Halloween event for 2022, there's actually quite a bit of potential here. And along with that, we have one final reminder of your bonuses and discounts for September, just to make sure you get any sort of grinding in that you wanted to. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So starting off, October's event will be Halloween themed most likely. Of course, we know this because one of the things that have been leaked essentially for this so far is that we have leaks for Halloween Pass 2 returning. And I did wanna talk about this because I discussed it in a video in September when we finally got some news on it, but we will also go over the rewards at the end of this video for those of you who are interested. Just discussing that briefly though, we're gonna get back to that in a little bit, but talking about some more Halloween Pass content or just Halloween content in general, we have Halloween themed call to arms that are most likely gonna return Armadillo, Bulger Glade, Shady Bell, and Butcher's Creek were 2021's Halloween update call to arms maps. They were only in the game for a two week period, if I'm not mistaken, Rockstar took them out after that, after the Halloween event wrapped up, and that was it. They never returned as normal maps, which is one of the things I'm hoping for after this October event here, like basically ends in game. Whether or not we do get these call to arms maps, again, I do hope that Armadillo, Bulger Glade, Shady Bell, and Butcher's Creek just become normal call to arms maps. Obviously without all the Halloween themed modes and the lighting and all that and the zombies or like the cult members that are running around but you know just normal enemies just having those maps giving extra areas of play would be really nice another thing to look forward to is of course our featured series pvp modes in the past we've had the first one which was fear of the dark and then dead of night which was the second halloween themed mode i think a lot of players including myself prefer the fear of the dark mode because it basically revolves around you as a survivor or a night stalker or it's a hunter or a night stalker the hunters need to essentially go around collect masks and make points and it earn points for collecting those masks and holding them getting kills with them and the night stalkers need to stop them and then it becomes an elimination mode at a certain point after but it's honestly really fun i think if that one returns you guys will definitely enjoy dead of night's also fun it's just not as fun as fear of the dark of course we're getting our normal roll bonuses and and discounts and just a quick reminder of those September bonuses and discounts since this is literally like the final few hours of this your discounts five gold bars off the butcher's table for the trader roll 40% off the medium delivery wagon 40% off the large delivery wagon 40% off the hunting wagon 30% off all trader roll outfits 30% off all Turkmen horses 40% off the rolling block rifle, 40% off the Carcano rifle, 50% off the varmint rifle, 40% off the bow, 50% off varmint rifle ammo, 50% off arrows, and then 35% off the small game arrow pamphlet. For our bonuses, double money and XP on all trader sales, so definitely get those final long distance sales in for that $1,250 per long distance sell. 50% extra money from perfect pelts and carcasses sold to the butchers around the map. 50% extra trader materials from perfect pelts and carcasses that are donated to your butcher's table at your campsite. Double gold money and XP on the trader out free roam event, which is a trader roll exclusive free roam event. Double gold money and XP on the tough business hardcore telegram missions. Double gold money and XP on the Il Sovrano blood money opportunity and then double gold money and xp on the defend the campsite dynamic events and random encounters so with all that said we're going to transition into showing off those halloween pass 2 rewards according to the in-game catalog there was a page that did say that halloween pass 2 would be available through october of 2022 and this is 100 confirmed in game this isn't my own speculation this is confirmed by rockstar in the game itself but since they haven't mentioned it officially in one of their news wires and then that in-game catalog page was since changed and removed from the catalog since it was first spotted by literally thousands of players at the start of september just be prepared for you to log in this tuesday morning and potentially find out that there may not be a pass on offer but either way we're going to talk about all the rewards you can expect rockstar is of course bringing back halloween pass 2 just 
just according to that like in-game confirmation or leak, whatever you want to call it. We're not getting a new one, unfortunately, unless they surprise us with a Halloween Pass 3. I really don't see that happening considering there's no files in game currently unless they release a title update on Tuesday morning, but that's also unlikely in my opinion. I wouldn't expect that. So if you missed out on Halloween Pass 2, well then you're lucky because you can get these rewards and say for all of us who may have completed Halloween Pass 2, maybe Rockstar could give us just something, you know, some type of cash or gold reward. That would be honestly kind of lit. But jumping in, here's all the rewards you can expect. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that said, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy the Halloween Pass 2 rewards, and I will see you in the next Red Dead Online video to kick off the October event tomorrow. Adios, amigos.